Money. It's the most misunderstood yet most desired object in life. It's like the mysterious person everyone wants to date but is too afraid to approach. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You were born with the ability to be rich. Yes, you. But if that's true, why isn't everyone rolling in wealth? What's the missing link between you and your dream life? Hold that thought, because we're about to uncover the strategy that can unlock unimaginable wealth and success in your life. If you're watching this, it's because you have aspirations and ambitions for more. You're someone who's hungry for success and eager to elevate your life to levels you've never thought possible. Today, we're diving into the groundbreaking concepts from the book, You Were Born Rich by Bob Proctor. We're going to explore the innate power within you to not just wish for wealth, but to command and attract it. So grab your notebook and get ready to change your life forever. Let's begin. 1. You're richer than you think. Stop. Take a moment and look around you. What do you see? A life of missed opportunities? A bank account that doesn't reflect your worth? A reality that doesn't align with your dreams? Now what if I told you that all of this is an illusion? A mirage that you've convinced yourself is real? You see, you were born rich. Not in the silver spoon in your mouth kind of way, but in a manner far more significant. You were born with a mind, a tool more powerful than any vault of gold or stockpile of cash. Yet here you are, living a life that's a mere shadow of what you're capable of. Why? Because you've bought into the illusion of poverty, the false narrative that you're not enough, that you don't have enough. Let's get one thing straight. Your current circumstances are not a life sentence. They're a starting point. Your mindset is the compass that can navigate you out of this illusion and into a reality brimming with opportunity, wealth, and success. But to do that, you need to shatter the mental barriers holding you back. You think you're not smart enough. Albert Einstein's teachers labeled him slow and mentally handicapped, yet he became the epitome of intelligence. You think you're too old? Colonel Sanders founded KFC at the age of 65. You think you're too broke? Oprah Winfrey was born into poverty and became a billionaire. Today we're tearing down the illusions and unlocking the vault of your mind. We're diving deep into the untapped reservoirs of your potential to unleash the wealth you were born with. So if you're ready to break free from the chains of your self-imposed limitations, stick around. This is not just another video. This is your wake-up call. 2. The Prosperity Consciousness Let me ask you a question. What percentage of people do you think achieve true wealth? 30%? 10%? 5%? The truth may shock you. Only 1% of the world's population has achieved millionaire status. This means 99% of people never get rich. Let that sink in. That's not just a number, it's a tragedy. It's a sea of untapped potential, dreams deferred, and lives lived in quiet desperation. But why? Why do so many people miss the mark? The answer isn't just about money, it's about mindset. It's about what's been passed down through generations, not just wealth, but a prosperity consciousness. You see, the wealthy don't just inherit money, they inherit a way of thinking, a blueprint for success that's been tried and tested. Now you might be thinking, well, I wasn't born into wealth, so I'm out of luck. You couldn't be more wrong. Prosperity consciousness isn't exclusive to trust fund babies or Silicon Valley prodigies. It's a mindset you can adopt right here, right now. You can break the cycle, shatter the mold, and defy the statistics. Money making is not a talent you're born with. It's a skill you develop. Just like playing the piano or riding a bike, you can learn the art of wealth creation. But here's where most people get it wrong. They focus on the surface level stuff. The stock market, real estate, side hustles. Don't get me wrong, those are important but they're not the root cause of wealth. The true cause goes deeper, way deeper. It's your mindset, your habits, your decision-making process. It's the invisible architecture of your life that dictates your financial destiny. You see, you can have all the investment strategies in the world, but if your mindset is stuck in scarcity, you're fighting a losing battle. It's like trying to fill a bucket with a hole in the bottom. You'll never get ahead. So are you going to be part of the 99% forever wondering, what if? Or are you going to seize this moment, adopt a prosperity consciousness, and elevate yourself into the top 1%? The clock is ticking, and the choice is yours. Make it count. 3. Getting rich is your duty. Staying poor is a sin. 
Get ready, because we're about to challenge some deeply ingrained beliefs you might hold. You've probably heard that money is the root of all evil, right? Well, what if I told you that this age-old saying has it all wrong? What if the real evil is not in acquiring wealth, but in settling for poverty? You see, we've been conditioned to think that wanting to be wealthy is somehow greedy or immoral. But what if I told you that staying poor is the real sin? What if the pursuit of wealth isn't just a personal goal, but a moral duty? A duty to yourself, your family, and society at large? Imagine the impact you could have with significant resources at your disposal. The lives you could change. The communities you could uplift. The legacy you could leave. Staying poor isn't just a disservice to yourself. It's a disservice to the world. You're robbing society of your untapped potential, your unrealized dreams, your unfulfilled contributions. Let's shatter this illusion that poverty is virtuous and wealth is sinful. It's time to recognize that the pursuit of wealth is not just a personal ambition, it's a moral obligation. So are you ready to shoulder that responsibility? Because the world is waiting for you to step up. 4. The Self-Image Trap Let's play a game. Close your eyes and picture yourself. What do you see? A successful entrepreneur, a loving partner, a world traveler? Or do you see someone who's stuck, unfulfilled and drowning in regret? Open your eyes. That image you saw, that's your self-image. And whether you realize it or not, it's dictating every aspect of your life. You see, your self-image is the mental blueprint you have of yourself. And like any blueprint, it sets the boundaries of what you can build. If you see yourself as a failure, guess what? You're laying the foundation for a life of disappointment. But if you see yourself as a winner, as someone born to succeed, you'll walk, talk, and breathe success until it becomes your reality. Now you might be thinking, that sounds great, but how do I change my self-image? Well, it starts with awareness. You need to recognize the limiting beliefs that have shaped your current self-image. Are you holding on to past failures? Are you listening to the naysayers who doubt your potential? It's time to evict these mental squatters. So how do you start? First, recognize that your current self-image was built over years, shaped by experiences, judgments, and societal norms. But, and this is a big but, it's not set in stone. You have the power to reshape it, to chisel away the parts that don't serve you, and sculpt the masterpiece you were born to be. Second, flood your mind with positive affirmations, success stories, and empowering beliefs. The more you feed your mind with success, the more your self-image will align with it. And lastly, act the part. Don't wait for your self-image to change to start living like a winner. Start now. Dress the part, talk the part, and walk the part. Because the fastest way to become the person you want to be is to start being that person today. As you change your self-image, the universe will conspire to match your new level of expectation. Opportunities will appear, doors will open, and success will become inevitable. So, are you ready to shatter the mirror of your old self-image and step into a new reality? Stick around because we're just scratching the surface. 5. See it in your mind's eye. Have you ever wondered how elite athletes break world records or how top CEOs seem to have a Midas touch? It's not just talent or luck. They harness the power of visualization. This isn't some mystical concept. It's a technique backed by neuroscience and used by the world's most successful people. When you vividly imagine achieving a goal, your brain starts firing the same neurons that would be active if you were actually living that experience. Essentially, you're training your brain to believe you can achieve that success. But here's where most people get it wrong. Visualization isn't a substitute for action. It's not a daydream where you imagine yourself on a yacht and then go back to binge watching Netflix. It's a conscious, deliberate practice that must be paired with real world action. So how do you harness this tool effectively? First, be specific. Don't just see yourself as successful. Visualize all the small details that make it feel real. The applause after your killer presentation, the texture of that CEO nameplate on your desk, the thrill of seeing your product on store shelves. Second, make it a daily practice. Consistency is key. The more you visualize, the more you reinforce your goals, making them a part of your subconscious blueprint for success. So, use the technique of mental rehearsal every day and watch how it catapults your life to new heights. 6. The Money Frequency all right, let's get metaphysical for a moment. Imagine your mind as a radio, constantly sending and receiving signals. 
Now, what if I told you that there's a specific frequency for wealth, a channel that, once tuned into, can literally attract money into your life? Sounds like science fiction? Well, it's not. It's science fact. You see, your thoughts and emotions are not just abstract concepts, they're energy. And like attracts like. If you're constantly tuned into the frequency of scarcity, guess what you'll attract? You got it, more scarcity. But if you tune into the frequency of abundance, you become a magnet for wealth. This isn't some woo-woo philosophy, it's a psychological truth. Your brain is wired to seek out experiences that align with your thoughts and emotions. So if you're constantly thinking about wealth, success, and abundance, your actions will naturally steer you towards those outcomes. So the question is, what frequency are you tuning into on a daily basis? The one that keeps you stuck in a never-ending loop of financial struggle? Or the one that opens the floodgates to wealth and prosperity? The choice is yours. 7. Expect the best. Okay, what if I told you that your life as it stands right now is a direct result of your expectations? Not your circumstances, not your luck, but your expectations. Think about it. Ever wonder why some people seem to have all the luck, always achieving the things they want? It's not magic, it's expectation. They expect to win, so they do. You see, your expectations aren't just thoughts. They're commands. Commands to your subconscious, your behavior, and believe it or not, even to the world around you. When you expect greatness, you send a signal to the universe, and the universe listens. But here's the brutal truth. Low expectations are the silent killers of dreams. They're the reason you settle for less, the reason you don't take risks, the reason you're stuck in a loop of mediocrity. And the worst part, you set them for yourself. So what's it going to be? Are you going to be your own worst enemy, setting the bar so low that you trip over it? Or are you going to be the architect of your destiny, setting sky-high expectations and then smashing through them? It's time to decide. Because if you don't, you're not just betraying your potential, you're betraying the very essence of who you are. You were born rich, in talent, in potential, and in opportunities. Isn't it time you start living like it? So, there you have it. The roadmap to riches isn't paved with gold. It's etched in the synapses of your brain. You've been given the keys to the kingdom, but here's the kicker. The door isn't locked. It never was. You've been standing on the outside, knocking, waiting for someone to let you in. But the truth? You've had the power to swing that door wide open all along. You see, wealth isn't a club you join. It's a frequency you tune into. It's not a secret society for the chosen few, but a state of mind accessible to anyone brave enough to dare, to dream, to demand more. So what's it going to be? Are you going to be a spectator in the game of life, watching as the 1% play to win? Or are you going to step onto that field, look destiny in the eye, and say, deal me in? Remember, the clock isn't just ticking on your financial goals, it's ticking on your life. Every second you spend doubting your worth, questioning your ability, or fearing failure is a second stolen from your future. A future that could be filled with abundance, impact, and unparalleled success. So, go ahead. Tune into that money frequency, shatter those self-imposed limitations, and set your expectations sky high. Because the only person who's been holding you back is the one staring back at you in the mirror. It's time to meet the richer, wiser, unstoppable version of you. Good luck.